happy Friday night. Wait a few minutes. If you're here, say hello. If you're catching this on the replay, hashtag replay. Hi, Cameron. Hey, Alyssa. So, super uneventful evening tonight. So, I'm just going to. I love you too. <laughs> yes. Um, just figured I'd do my makeup at 8 o'clock at night because it's cold and windy and. Why not? So, um, so we're going to start off tonight. I do have, we're going to start with the VFX Pro. Um, I typically use, let me turn this light down just a second. I like just figuring all this out, you guys. No, no, yep. There, I think that's a little bit better. Okay, um, so I tried both of these now, the VX Pro and the Strobe. I don't know if you can see it. Um, this one is more of um, a silicone base. This one is more of a moisturizing one, so if you have oily skin, I may not recommend this. I did try this one. I didn't, I mean, I like the glow that it gave, but I didn't really like it underneath my foundation for me, for my skin type. Um, but I love this one. Um, it doesn't clog your pores and, oh, I haven't opened one, just a second. This one's not open. It doesn't clog, um, Alexa, stop. Sorry, guys. It doesn't clog your pores. I just like the nice finish that it gives um, to my foundation. I've had a lot of people comment on my foundations, like, oh, your skin looks so good. And I always tell them that's because I have a great skin skincare routine like that is like the most important thing you guys you have to be washing your face and using good products but you don't need very much of it just about this much and I just kind of start oh forgot the nose ring um start and then kind of work out so what's everybody doing tonight hey Kim no that's next Thursday gosh I am so excited I cannot wait to get these braces off although I was supposed to have them for a year and it's only been seven months so I feel like that's good right hey Amanda if you're here say hi if you're catching this on the replay hashtag uh, replay you guys I wish you could feel the texture of this. It is so, hey Kara, it is so lightweight and it has such a silky, silky finish. Like, I just kind of want to rub my face. Next, um, I'm going to do my eyes and I have the new Glam Up palette. Can you guys see okay? The light is kind of bright. But look at these colors. Like, I don't even feel like the camera does it any justice. I know I said that in my live previously but man they are just absolutely gorgeous and they're so pigmented before i do this though i did finally get the pharmacy um primer the eye primer so this is gonna help like with these veins um it's gonna really uh cancel those out it has a little bit it's more of a tacky finish um so it's a little bit more concentrated, like more thick than like our typical like concealer. But you can use it as a concealer to cover up. Like I have mom bags because my kid refuses to sleep in her room. But you just, sorry, you're going to get kind of up close and personal with me, guys. And then I just kind of go a little bit above. This is weird to do it in the camera and not a mirror. Just so you guys know. And by no means am I a professional. And I just go up. I use this to cover up those veins, like I said, and it makes your uh, shadows last longer. Like an all day type of deal. And it also makes them more pigmented. So you're going to you're going to have more of a color pop with this. My upline used this. And covered up her tattoo with like barely any of this. So you don't need very much. 
and it doesn't leave like a sticky feeling and it I've used primers before that like make it hard to blend um, your shadows but that's not the case what color do you think we should use tonight mm, I've used the buff and I've used the Dubai I don't know what do you guys think hey Anna I think we're gonna, I don't know. I don't know. I think we're gonna start with the Dusty Rose, maybe? I mean, it's the In Fuego with the Dubaias. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So what's everybody up tonight? I, I know that you guys are all getting together tomorrow. Yeah, Warren Teddy is this this color, Kim. Yeah, warm teddy. Should I try that one? Hey, Susan. You caught me just in time. I did a different brush here. I'll do the warm teddy. Actually, I'm going to use that in the crease. I'm going to do the dusty rose and the warm teddy in the crease, Kim. So I have hooded eyes. You guys, this is super hard to do in the camera. I'm so used to using a, a mirror. So bear with me. Sorry if you're getting a look up my nose. So I go, I have hooded eyes, so I go a little bit above like the crease. Can you guys hear my kids yelling? <laughs> and since I do have hooded eyes, I want to take this eyeshadow. I got to use a mirror. I'm going to take this eyeshadow like up because I want it to give me a lifted look here. Like lifted eye, I guess you can. Ooh, that's really pretty. I don't know if he really does it justice, like I said. Anna, are you so pumped for tomorrow? I am kind of sad that I can't make it. I'm not going to lie. And like I said, you want to bring, if you have a hooded eye, you want to create that lifted eye. So you want to bring it up and not so much out. Because if you bring it out and down, that's going to um, drag your eye down. And also, I learned that you need to hold your your brush like at the end as opposed to down the middle. So it's not like stuck right there. The closer you um, hold it to the bristles, the more concentrated and harder it is to blend. All right, now we're gonna go with the warm Teddy in my crease. And I use like a little bit more um, concentrated bristle, more dense if you will, I guess. And then I just kind of stamp it in there. And get the corner. And then I take a softer, lighter brush. I think it will be good. I think it'll be good for everybody, Anna, to get together and meet and be able to put like faces with other things besides videos. So you guys, I'll, I am kind of, I can't, I have to blend one eye and then I do the other eye and then blend it and then I go back and blend the other one. Ooh, I like it. Did you guys see me just try to touch my mirror to put color on? <laughs> it's been one of those days. So I have three packages from pharmacy coming. I'm so excited. Did you guys get the Valentine's Day um, lip gloss and the exclusive blush? I got one. Hey, Kim. So I'm just doing some um, Friday night. Gonna go wash my face right after this makeup. 
<laughs> Rich went to a basketball game to watch his son play in Deschler, and I was hanging out with the kids, put Journey down, and I'm like, you know what? Why not? I'm excited to see you tomorrow. You didn't get one, Anna? Hey, Nikki. And then I'll go in um, with this brush to kind of do my lighter color. Don't worry, this looks like a hot mess right now, but I'll clean it up. And then I'm gonna use the, the netter tool. I can't even read it. So. And we'll just kind of stamp it in here to lighten this up. Bring it into your crease color. It's going to overlap a little bit. And then you'll use a brush to blend it. <clears throat> oh, you didn't get... Are you excited to see me, Kim? Or are you talking about the Valentine's Day box? Yeah, it went super fast. Like I, the Valentine's Day box, it has a 3D, it had a 3D mascara in it, um, a lip gloss that um, had a little bit of a shimmer, but it's like designed, it has um, a component that's designed to like enhance your natural color. And then it also has an exclusive like pink blush. It was gone within four hours, you guys. Like we sold out. Crazy. I got on there as soon as I seen it was released. Like I posted about it and then uh, um, I went and ordered. Yeah. So I don't know that I'll necessarily keep it for myself. I was thinking maybe I'll play a game with you guys and maybe do a giveaway with it. Like a Valentine's Day giveaway. That'd be kind of fun. I'm excited to see you too. I feel like with this COVID, I haven't seen anybody forever, including my best friend, including my family. I missed my niece's second birthday. <clears throat> so what do you guys, like, I, I've been posting a lot. I haven't had a lot of questions. Like, does anybody have any questions that I could answer while we're on here? Any questions about, like, the products, like the skincare, the makeup, interested in joining, any anything like that, need help with some color matching. I'm sorry guys, I can't do it on my phone. I don't know how those girls do it. And apparently I don't like to talk when I'm doing my Eyeliner. <laughs> so I posted about the Age Reversus line. Did um, how there's that new BI kit. Did anybody see that or check that out? Are you laughing at my dance moves, Ken? So I'm going to use, um, <laughs> I 
I have the new VFX. Oh, I guess it's not new, but it's new for me. Um, VFX Pro. This is a full coverage um, foundation. I can't even think, you guys. And then I, it's a little bit dark, so I've been mixing it with the, the BB. Just a tiny bit. Reminder, always, ooh, reminder, always wet your sponge. And then I am going to go in here and blend it all into my face. If you're here, say hello. If you're catching this on the replay, hashtag replay so I know that you've seen it. Do you guys just hear my neck crack? What's the weather like there, Kim? Is it still snowing? So this looks a little bit light for me on camera, but it's really not it's because of my light. I want to change that actually, I think. It's kind of flickery. I don't like it. Good. You don't think it will impact your travel? This eye looks amazing. I don't know what's going on with this one. I think I need more. Good. I know when my mom went to pick up con dog, it was bad. There. Sorry. Text message. Do you guys remember like AOL? Do you remember AOL? It's rich telling me. Nobody ever hardly texts me until I'm doing lives. It's kind of like my kids. They don't need anything until I'm busy doing something. I, I like never know like what to, how to do these angles. Like I always feel like I'm going to make myself look like Ursula. Like, mm, see that? All those chins. Angles are everything, I'm telling you. So then I use concealer. And like I said, the um, primer, the eye primer, um, can double as a concealer. But today I'm using this. Yeah, I bet. I also kind of go like this and right above to define my eyebrows when I pencil in just to clean that up and then I go up here to clean up that line and blend it all in. I don't 
do my uh, mascara until the end. I don't know why, that's just the way I do it. I feel like it finishes the look. It never, the roads never really got bad here. I heard though the farther north or east you went from here. So there must have been like a, a pocket. <clears throat> okay. So, oh, I forgot to do my, you guys, if you don't have this product, you need to get it. Moisturizing, um, lip conditioner. This is great before your lip, you got to use it before you put on your lipstick. <laughs> I like it to soak in that way. And then also this, it's a lip exfoliant. Amazing. And it's not even that expensive. I think it's like four bucks maybe. Um, so then next I'm going to do, no, not the highlighter. Mm, I like those eyes. Those look good. Now I'm not going to want to go to bed. So I put this contour, yeah, I put on my concealer after my foundation because I like to use it to lighten up my eyes. Like you'll see once it's all blended, see how much like brighter, like when I step back and it looks like I don't have any color right now, but once I get my contour on, um, my uh, highlighter and my blush, it will all blend really nice. So when I do this, I just go right here since I kind of have a fat face, I bring it along my jawline. And then I kind of go up around my temple here and here on my forehead. And on the sides of my nose. Because I'm like giving it a shadow. Sometimes I do it like right, Oops. like do a couple on my chin. And then use your handy dandy beauty blender. So this you're not really trying to move. Um, you do try to move it. I move this into my forehead because I have five head um, or into my hairline, I mean. I know. But it looks so beautiful after it's finished. I always think that too. Um, so the ones around my hairline, I try to like blend. But these ones, I'm not trying to move the product. I am just simply blending it in. And I always go right below. So I get the tip of my ear and go right below um, that bone right here. Because it's just defining it. Obviously, I want to blend this into my neck. I just push, 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 pat, pat, pat. <coughs> I swear it's not COVID. Just like that. Mm -mm. Okay, then I do my eyebrows and then I'm gonna lock it with my um, pharmacy time lock. I put on my lock before I do my time lock, which is a setting spray. I put that, I learned that you're supposed to do your setting spray um, before you do your highlighter because it will make your highlighter look more matte. Didn't know that. Sorry, I got something on my lip. 
I sometimes when I'm actually going out, I have a translucent um, powder that I'll put under my eyes. I'm not going to do that tonight because I don't need to. So, my brush is dirty. I comb my eyebrows so they're not all crazy. Then I have the clear eyebrow mascara. Like this. I just kind of. And I just put it on to kind of keep them in place. Um, and then I use my eyebrow brush. I'm going to look this way so you guys can see. I have scarce eyebrows up here on top. I've said it before. I think it, I'm pretty sure that it's because I over plucked when I was younger. Oh, I should have let that dry a little bit more. And I just kind of fill it in. I'm really happy with my eyebrow shape for the most part, except for this one. Like I said, it's kind of sparse on top and it doesn't match my other one. But And then I elongate them a little bit. Boom! Good enough for government work. And then I will use my locking spray. I just kind of go in a circle. Give it a few sec. Oh, I forgot to do blush. Oh, well, we'll do it on top of the. I do have the three in one palette. Why is it always so hard to open? <clears throat> Which is super pretty and convenient. Um, however, I don't feel confident with my contouring with a brush. People tell me they don't feel confident with um, using the stick. That's just always what I've used, so. I haven't used it a lot yet. <laughs> I need to play with it before I show you, try to show you guys. Then I use my stick highlighter and I just go right above where I did my contour. Also up here in the temple area. Oh, that's still wet. Dang it. Okay. I'm going to go on the nose, tip of the nose. Hit the lip right here, I'm waiting for this to dry so I can fix it. I like my highlighter to be on when I smile, so it's like kind of like right here. I have big, I almost said a cuss word, I have big cheeks, so that's what I like. I don't ever, I have this huge, this wrinkle here that I'm working on, um, so I don't really highlight there, but I like kind of go like that. I don't know if this is right, guys, but this is what I do. And then I just blend it in with my sponge. Then I'm going to use my three in one for my blush. And I just go right along here.
<laughs> you can play with it. Why not? And I, um, this, I can't do it in the camera. But then I curl my eyelashes. Ouch, don't pinch your skin. Uh, when you do your eyelashes, you're supposed to, like, kind of look down and put them in there. And you're supposed to bounce it. According to YouTube. Mm. I had no idea. Hey, Elizabeth. All right. Then I'm going to use the Limitless Mascara. So, Anna said today what this has in it. It starts with a C. But it's a serum that's supposed to um, help your eyelashes grow while you wear it. Does anybody else have to have their mouth kind of open when they're doing their mascara? <laughs> that's after one coat. It's prettybomb.com. Oh, I know better than to touch it. I'll clean that up in a second. It goes on so nice. You guys have to get this. It is amazing. Two coats, you guys. They look like they're falsies. I understand that I have longer eyelashes than probably typical people my age, but... Mm. Gotta get you some. All right, and then I'll do my bottom lashes. All right, clean up my mess. And then I'm gonna go in with an angled brush and just put some color in the corner of my eyes. So I'm gonna use the gold tail out of the um, Glam Up palette. And I'm also gonna put some under my um, eye to kind of create that smoky, more of a smoky look. And remember what I said, like you have, to, if you have hooded eyes, you want to bring this up. Because you want to make the eye have the illusion that it's lifted to make that look bigger. Plus it also helps if you go a little bit above the crease because I guess the illusion, remember makeup's about illusions, um, of that lifted eye. That didn't blend very well. And then for the lip, I just use, what am I using here? Lip liner 201. This is my favorite. Sometimes I just use it as a lipstick and put um, the plumper on it. Mm. 
Okay. And then I am going to use, I want to use this one. What do you think? If you're here, say hello. Hey, Penny. All right. So this is the lip, the lippies, their liquid lipstick, and it's got a matte finish. And it's not supposed to transfer. Now I'm going to show you how. I'm sorry, guys. Hey, Cheryl, how's it going? All right, so once this dries, it's like stuck. Which is fine. Then, I let it dry a little bit. Okay, so everybody's wearing masks, right? And the translucent powder, you guys, you have to get it. Like, it, you're still going to always have, um, no, it wasn't even rich that time. It was a reminder. Um, you're always going to have some transfer, okay, um, with foundation in these masks. But if you get a good setting spray, like the time locker from pharmacy or a good translucent um powder it's gonna help set that i'm gonna show you a way to set your lips so that it lasts all day as i said in one of my previous um lives that when i went to the orthodontist i had our lippy on i'd use the translucent powder to like set it and i'm going to show you how i do that and it's called like a bulletproof lip like they were literally in my mouth um, like pulling my cheeks and my lipstick stayed like it kind of came off in the co in the corners um, but it's probably because they had um, like like literally pulled my cheeks apart I was going to demonstrate that that would have been really weird right so you just go in so this and just pat it on there Keep your mouth closed. Doesn't taste good. And you can use this to set like underneath your eyes as well. And then I just take like a big like powder brush and blend it in. Nobody will ever know. So there you have it. Let me change the lighting, see if it makes it look different. Okay, let's see. Nope. There. Looks pretty amazing. So anyways, that's how I do my makeup. It didn't take me too terribly long. I feel like I went a little bit slower than what I do um, when I'm doing it just all by myself. Um, but this is the finished look. Um, if you have any questions of like how you can achieve this look, reach out to me. I'd be more than happy um, to mentor you and help you um, pick out products that will be good for your skin type. Um, and like I said before, the most important part is a um, amazing skin regimen. You guys have to be taking care of your canvas. We have to clean their pores. We have to uh, take care of those, um, our skin. Like that is like the outside protecting our insides. Um, so if you have any questions about any of the products, you know, whether you have sensitive skin, dry skin, oily skin, I can help. If you're struggling with acne, whatever the case might be, reach out to me and I'd be more than happy to recommend um, 
recommend some products. And if I don't have a good answer, I'll reach out to some of my amazing teammates and we'll come up with an answer together. Um, so like I said, if you're here, say hello. Make sure you like and share. Um, go to Beauty Vibe with Erin. Um, like my page uh, for any specials that might be coming up or any competitions I might be running. And let me spray this one more time. I feel like it's hairspray. You can never have enough. <laughs> All right, guys. I appreciate you hopping um, on, Kim. I cannot wait to see you tomorrow. Um, and I'll talk to you guys again next time. Bye.